Hello everyone, welcome to day 19 of my Advent series. Okay, you should know by now what I'm going to do. I'm going to lift the lid of this box and we'll see what's inside today. Ah, we have a small white box. That looks very familiar. Could there be an LED bulb inside? Yes, there is. And just arrived today, back from its spa treatment, is a vacuum cleaner that needs a new bulb. So let's go and fit it, shall we? So this box arrived today from Sam, who has the channel Becco1987. I'll put a link below the video. Click on that, subscribe to Sam if you don't already, because what he doesn't know about restoring vacuum cleaners is nobody's business. So anyway, some of you may know, how do you get this open? Some of you may know that I sent a Hoover Dirt Searcher to Sam. You can watch the video when he opened it and you can watch the video how he fixed it on his channel. So I sent him it because it's been in bits for ages and I haven't had time to sort of look at it. So I thought I'll send it to the Hoover Doctor. And the Hoover Doctor has fixed her. She works now. I think she needed a new um, armature, which I included. I thought it might be something to do with that, but I wasn't sure. Anyway, it did turn out to be the armature. So now, hopefully, because I didn't have a headlight bulb for it, I've got one now. Pop the bulb in and we'll give her a go, shall we? Let's see how lovely she looks now. Right, well, before I open her, we've got... Uh, oh, I shouldn't have opened it because it says on here, care package for the orphans at Christmas. I'm not an orphan. Oh, not a vacuum cleaner. Ref, a basic Christmas Day unboxing extravaganza. Well, it's not Christmas Day. It nearly is, though, isn't it? Oh, a note from the man himself. Let's read it. Dear Roger, could, be, could this be the first vintage unboxing on your channel where the machine is how it should be. Hmm. No, I wouldn't say so, Sam. I do, I have opened some vintage machines that have been okay, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I've wiped it over with a gritty old rag as discussed and hit it with a hammer until it ran again. Kind regards, Becco 1987. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Well, thank you. I'm sure he hasn't wiped it over with a gritty old rag and hit it with a hammer. Because if I thought he was going to do that, there's no way I would have entrusted my precious Debbie Dirt Searcher. Right, oh, so I've got to look at, look at these, haven't I? Does Sam read a quality paper? Oh, the, oh he's done, I'm sure he doesn't read the Daily Telegraph. Where have you picked that up from? <laughs> oh dear. You don't, you don't strike me, Sam, as a Daily Telegraph reader. <laughs> he's, he's pinched that from Posh Neighbour, I, I reckon. Anyway, I expect there'll be a, a, the sun or the mirror in here as well. Is it all the Telegraph? Well, it's all Telegraph and, oh, look. Well, I'm not really interested in classic cars, but my partner might want to peruse that. Let's see, is there, is there anything on car, uh, car vacuum cleaners in here? Uh, there's just a lot of men welding, um, brandishing, I don't know what, Will Arm, Armston's brandishing. Will Armston show it? He's got some. He's got something there, I don't know what that is. Looks a bit, a bit vicious. Oh, well, uh, uh, anyway, I could learn about cars, couldn't I? Oh, it's all very interesting. Yes, so there we go, some bedtime reading, but not for me. Right, a tube, that's an empty tube, I'll give that to the dogs to play with later. Right, here's the bag. She always was a bit creased, but because it's one of these plasticized wipe clean bags, it's not... Um, it's not a doobry bag, you know, cloth bag. Well, that does seem smoother. Sam was going to grease it. Oh, look what he's done. In fact, I was going to do that, Sam. Is that a SIBO bag or is that just, I don't know if it's a SIBO. I was going to cut a SIBO bag, um, an X series bag. I was going to cut one and do exactly that. So great minds think alike, Sam. 
So um, that's all there. It's bottom fill, as you can you see. It's bottom fill. It's before they went to the top fill design. But yes, that is a lot smoother. He's greased that up, I think. Greased it up nicely. So there's the bag. Let's pop that there. Hmm. Yes, the handle does look a little bit shinier. That's the lower handle. And that's the upper handle. Always put a different plug on. I think, is that different? I can't remember. Anyway, it's a lovely MK one. I think that's a different plug. What's this? Ooh, not sure. Ooh, where, where's my thingy? Anyway, folks, nearly, nearly time for Santa, isn't it? Hey? Well, I hope you've all been good boys and girls. Otherwise, Santa will bring you nothing. He's quite cruel, is Santa. Oh, it's me, uh, it's, he's packed the doobie separate. And he did say on his uh, video that he wasn't going to machine polish this. But it certainly looks a little bit better. I did polish it up a bit myself. Now, this is an exclusive look. Hence the word, that would have polished off if he'd used the machine on that. I think this was a co-op exclusive model. I've got to fit the new bulb into here which I have here, so hopefully it will fit. I'll pop that carefully there. Now, let's take out, here she is. I think that's everything, there's no, no surprises left. Oh no, hang on. Oh dear, look. He's even sent me it's like it's, it's like when you go for an operation. Well, you don't actually get given the bits to take out after an operation, do, do you? But Sam has um, given, yes, he has obviously fitted a new plug because this is the old one. You could have kept that, Sam. You could have put it on some other vacuum. And, um, oh, he sent me the uh, carbon brushes back, so they might come in handy at a later date. I sent him those just in case. Oh, hang on, that bit I need. I need. Oh, hang on. Oh. I think I need this bit. In fact, oh, there's all sorts of spare bits in here, but anyway, I'm sure it'll be fine. I don't know if he's fitted another one of those, because that... Hmm. Might have to take the plug off to fit that. I won't for this video, though. I'll put that to one side. He might have put another one on. Alexa, do you love me? There are people I admire, and things I can't do without, but I'm still trying to figure out human love. Typical. <laughs> I've just got an Alexa thingy, an Amazon Echo. So I've been asking it all sorts of naughty questions. Alexa, when did the Hoover Company start? The Hoover Company was founded in 1908. Thank you. Right, let's be careful with this. I mean, I didn't expect um, to have much of, you know, it was in pretty clean condition, this. Um, and it does need retro brighting. But yes, yeah, she certainly looks better. There is, it's... Oh, what's that off? Don't think that's. No, I don't think that matters. Hopefully not. Um, oh yeah. So, oh she does look better. Now what I did with this when I took it all apart, I actually, yeah, it's a bit scratched. I actually used the sandpaper method on this. Various grades of sandpaper, starting with a fairly coarse one, going to a fine, and it got rid of. This was very yellow. It was yellow all over. You can just see there. Look, that's how yellow it was. So obviously I haven't managed to, um, it had started yellowing again. I did get most of the yellowing off, but it had started to yellow again. So in the summer, if we get a summer, I'll get some of that hydrogen peroxide stuff and do the old retro brighting method. But I'll be very careful, but it is a lot shinier and oh, it's smooth. 
that looks better underneath as well. He's polished up even in there. He does a very good job. That's excellent. He did berate me for using a non-genuine Hoover belt, but we'll leave it in for now. Um, yeah. So what I'm going to do, folks, I'll just assemble this dirt searcher. Well, first of all, let's put the bulb in, shall we? Um, I'm not really sure how I do this. Because I don't think it's quite such an easy job. I think I do have to unscrew quite a few screws. Because here, you know, see there's two connections there, two pins. Can you see? Hard for me to show. There's two pins anyway that stick up. There, there you go. Those two pins, that's it, there we go. And they go into the uh, hole at the front, this little socket. So this is the obviously the regular junior, just has the cover plate, it doesn't have this because of course we have the, because this is a dirt searcher, we've got the headlight. So what I'll do, I'll unscrew, hmm. well I think all I have to do is unscrew, there's three screws, I've got to unscrew that one, and then two here, and then I think this will come off, and then I'll get access to put my LED bulb in. So I've got the lamp holder out, as you can see it's all metal, and this is a sort of a, a guard, sort of a heat guard really, because the old bulbs would have got warm at least, or sometimes hot, but I'm replacing it with a modern technology. And it's a small bayonet, SBC as they call them, small bayonet cap. So that goes in and twists, hang on, that's it. So that's in, that's connected up how it should be. And this will. This is just the same bulb as I got for that 612. You can get them get them on Amazon. I think that's where I got mine. I think eBay. You can get them on eBay as well. I've kept ordering the wrong bulb. I don't know how I did, but I've got quite a few of the screwing ones, thinking they were correct, and then I've realised, oh no, because the screwing bulbs, the small pygmy bulbs, are quite common. More common than the bayonet ones. But anyway, I, I used them because one of them fitted inside my fridge and I also needed one for my cooker hood so that's they didn't go to waste but now I've used up the two that I've bought I am still needing one for my starlight my Hoover starlight which you've seen if you've watched my channel for a while you've seen that a long time ago and that hasn't had anything done to it yet but hopefully in 2018 I will have some more time to do some of these things. Or perhaps that's another one I can send to Sam, but no, I think he's got enough on his plate at the moment. So, well, all the time. He's always fixing up vacuums. He also posts pictures um, on the Manchester Vax forum. So he takes a lot of effort in taking, taking photos of everything he's done. So, you know, if you ever need any help or advice with a particular vacuum, you can check there and see if Sam's actually shown you, D done a full strip down. Right, that's it. So that's the bulb in place. And now I've got to connect the cover to the cleaner, otherwise we'll have no suction at the cleaner head. This is how you'd fit the tools as well. I do actually have the full tool set for this, so I should really show that. I'll do a proper demo next year, but I'm gonna put some dirt down. So you locate it, there's a little metal lip, so you locate it up there first. Then you push it down, there we go. So there she is looking very 70s. I'm not sure, did Sam date this for me? I think somebody dated it, I can't remember. But I'm sure it's a 70s machine. Right, what's next? Well next is to fit the handle. I think that's what, yes, I'm going to have to, oh dear. I wonder if he's realised he's done that. It smells very nice anyway, I don't know what he's used. It smells uh, very pleasant. I won't, I won't go to the trouble yet, but this, this little thing here is meant to fit here, I think. Down like that, you see? That's one bit he's not cleaned, so you can see, you can see the difference. 
it's that the, the cable needs to go through there you see at the bottom of the machine but that means really taking the plug off or taking the cable off at the motor end to slide it through so I'll make sure I won't lose that but for this demo quick demo I'm not going to bother with that so let's just pop the uh, handle on that's the lower handle Ugh, it's quite stiff Hang on. I've gone too far I always go too far oh, that's a shame isn't it I didn't realize it's got a little bit of doobry doesn't show when the machine's stood up anyway I've gone too far Ooh. it's a stiff one oh heck right hang on I have to be careful now I'm pushing it down not to push it over <laughs> Oh, shall we ask Alexa something? I don't know. Oh, I've just said Alexa. When you say Alexa, she hears you, you see. She's listening to everything I'm saying now. And there's people at Amazon headquarters writing things down. Alexa, who is the fairest of them all? Famed is thy beauty, majesty. But hold, a lovely maid I see. Rags cannot hide her gentle grace. Alas, she is more fair than Alexa, me. shut up. Don't know what she's talking about. I thought she's going to say I am, but anyway. Uh, right, well, I can't, you know, for the purpose of the video, I'll just. It won't come off. It won't come apart because uh, it is very tight in there. It's not going to, just for the quick demo, it's not going to fall, fall to bits. I will be properly doing this. And we'll have a proper demo as befits this old girl. Now I've just got to put the top handle onto the bottom one. So here we've got the uh, cord support doobie thing in the jiggy. That goes on first, then you put the handle on. Who juniors are excellent because um, they they fit into my rucksack. And I know that because when I used to work at Curry's many, many years ago, when they used to do trade-ins, I used to be able to take the, uh, the trade-ins home. I had to pay for them. Ten pounds, I think, that the... Um, they were but anyway so if it was a trade in hoover junior this is probably where this came from to be honest because i've had this a long time this is one of the earliest vacuums in my current collection um so i would have taken the handle off and the whole main unit would have gone into my rucksack and the handle the handle probably stuck out a bit but uh, it was a common sight for me to be going home with a vacuum cleaner and if it was a big vacuum in a box I'd have to push my bike all the way home three miles with the vacuum balanced on the top you know maybe with some bungee cords wrapped around it and then I used to hide it in the garage until my mum and dad had gone to bed or if I was that excited to look at it I would smuggle it through the downstairs bedroom window so they couldn't see that another vacuum was coming into the house right I'm just hand tightening that but you can of course Hoover designed these so you don't need a screwdriver you can actually use a coin so last thing to do is attach the plasticized bag so the bag has got another little screw here which I will need the screwdriver for which I've got so I'll just change the bit to fasten that into place. Seems a shame putting some dirt down. There we go. So that's on. I can hook it, I'll hook it onto the bag support doobie at the top. Check that it is on. Yes, it is. So it's a bit distracting having my bells ringing all the time. Right, there we go, that's it. Let's tighten that up. -da 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 -dum 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 -dum. Nearly there. Oh, right, I don't want to over tighten, that'll do. Right, so as I said, that's connected to the base of the cleaner. And the top of the bag goes on this hook here, bag support hook that has a strong spring in it that moves up and down. 
So you just go like that. So there she is, apart from the little cord support at the bottom, which I will see to at some stage. It's lovely to see this vacuum fully assembled after all those years I had it in its box. So thank you so much, Sam, for that. Look at the shine on that. So it will need a little bit of retro brighting, but that, pretty pleased with that. Okay, for the first time in many years, in my company at least, I'm going to have this Hoover Dirt Searcher working. It seems a shame to dirty her up, doesn't it? But I know you wouldn't have been happy if we didn't show this old girl picking some muck up. So I've just put some, a little bit of mini dirt down. So rolled oats and tea leaves is the order of the day. <laughs> Well, there is a mini, mini, little, tiny bit of line of shame left just along the line on this rug. Did you spot that agitation? Could you see it? Because I could see it right at the sides. Let's have a lovely close-up shot of some beats as it sweeps, as it cleans action. Well, there you go. That's the end of my unboxing and mini test of this Hoover exclusive Dirt Searcher. She can still pack a punch. She's only 275 watts. She's not too noisy, but she can still hold her own against these modern bagless contraptions. A huge, huge thanks to Sam for doing this for me. Absolutely thrilled with it. Don't forget, check out his channel, Becco 1987 and watch all his videos. You can see how he takes vacuum cleaners in a far worse condition than this was and restore them to their former glory. He gets them working, he cleans them up. He does a fantastic job of restoring old and new vacuum cleaners. Thanks for watching. Tune in tomorrow for the next Advent video and happy Christmas to you all. Bye for now.